In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Panel Pop from Stupid Raisins. Panel Pop is a set of customizable transitions that divides your video into panels and animates to reveal the incoming clip. Panel Pop was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Transitions browser under Stupid Raisins Panel Pop. You'll notice there are 26 transitions to play with in all. Let's take a look at a few. Panel Pop will easily add an extra punch to your projects and can be totally customized for some great effects. For our example, I'm going to use a few different transitions in my sequence. I'll drag the first one, Flicker 3, between the first two clips on my timeline. This gives you a three panel flicker effect between the two clips. Let's look at some of the parameters. By clicking the Panel Guide checkbox, you'll see which panel is which. Using the panel timing sliders, you can adjust when exactly in the transition you want the incoming panel to appear. Click the Line On Off checkbox to add a defining line to the effect, in which you can adjust the color and width. Finally, use the Line Direction drop-down to make the lines animate forwards or backwards. Next, we'll take a look at Wipes 4. Again, you can select the panel guide to view the defined panels. In the Presets drop-down, you'll find a ton of great presets for the animation direction of the panels and either a smooth or bouncing motion. You can also select Custom and use the controls below to create your own custom effect. Easily add a line for each panel and change the color, width, and line direction. Finally, we'll look at Map Fold 3. In the parameters, there are 10 animated presets to choose from, or you can choose Custom for a custom effect. You can keep a transparent background or change it to a solid color. Panel Pop will give you unlimited possibilities for animated panel transitions in your projects. Use the presets for a quick and easy animated transition, or make the effect all your own with total customization. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.